are you? You're even dressing like a rock star now. I What's think... going on with you? I, I can see your nipples through that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> can you really? I was actually concerned about that yeah, back then. We today. can, yeah. <laughs> I have to sit like this the entire time now. We'll get you a cold poncho. Back. It is very cold back here. <laughs> it's cold out here, too. We keep it real cold. Yeah, just for just this for particular this thing, yeah. instance. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on with you? I'm really well. I'm... Can I tell you something? Yes. And I don't want to embarrass you, but a number of our producers saw your film while I was off fighting drones on in Montana. All right. And they are convinced that you will get an Oscar nomination for playing Freddie Mercury. Now, you already won the Emmy, I know. Is uh, that something you're interested in, an Oscar I, nomination? I, I'm That's... just... You I'm welcome. trying to take all of this in at the moment. Yeah, the yeah. Film. I mean, the greatest honor, I think, from playing someone like Freddie Mercury is getting the acceptance of, you know, the legendary bandmates, uh, uh, Brian May and Roger Taylor. Not more than Oscar, though. Not more than the Oscar's Oscar. Oscar's big. There's yeah. no doubt about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie and say, of course, I, w I wouldn't be... Uh, you consider that... Uh, uh, a massive accomplishment, but... But to impress those guys is... It, now, I, did those I guys... Brian May, did he have any say in who played Freddie in this movie? Oh, very much he so. He did. In all of the... He had to say, in, of course, who played him as well, but... Well, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. It does. But I guess for Freddie... And how did it happen that you, you wound up uh, playing this role? Our producers, Graham King and Dennis O'Sullivan, saw me on Mr. Robot, of Great. all things. Nice. And... I think a lot of it had to do with the jawline. Uh huh. Uh, because he's, he, he does have a, a very austere jawline. Yeah, he's like, yeah. yeah. Muscular, yeah. yeah. It's like he was like, clenching his teeth at night. Yeah. <laughs> That's me, too. <laughs> Is it? Really? Do you wear um, a mouth thing? No, I don't. No, you don't. But you do wear a mouth thing yeah. in the I school. do wear a mouth thing in the, yeah. Teeth. But you have fake teeth. I have fake teeth. Uh, I have to because, you know, not many people know this, but Freddie Mercury as a kid was called Bucky. Oh, is uh, that right? Yeah. That's mean. That was pretty mean. And that, which one is you? <laughs> you can tell, right? Yeah, right. Well, you know, it's, it's pretty close. It really is. Bad. He's a little That's sweatier mean. than you are, but other than that, it's pretty close. Yeah, it's that, not bad. And so when you have those teeth, are they something you can pop in and pop out? Or are they more? Yeah, you can pop them and pop them out, but I chose to keep them in for the majority of the shoot. Really? Yeah. Even at lunch? Even... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> no, my makeup artist would not allow me to do that. They were precious. I mean, she would walk around with these things as if she was, you know, carrying... Uh, Where are the teeth now? I have the teeth oh, now. Oh, good. I That's good. Them. Yes. You want to keep, keep those teeth. I keep them. I will always keep them. Well, do you have them on display, or are they just in, like, a, a side table in no, your they're house? No, they're just in the side drawer. They there. are, yeah. yeah. Don't, you got to take them out there, because, like, the maid might throw them away. <laughs> think they're just someone's old dentures. Or yeah, you want to like save that. those in case, like, the Smithsonian wants to put them I on display. I will. I'm saving them. Or maybe That's... one day you want to scare your children. <laughs> <laughs> If it comes to that. If, if it comes to that, that's how you do. Well, that's pretty... So talk to me about getting this part and, like, the first day as Freddie Mercury. What do you do the first day? The first day, what's nuts about it is uh, we shot the most iconic performance in rock history, uh, Queen playing at Live Aid on day one. So that really? was... Yeah, we came... Our first shot was the four of us coming out onto... Wembley Stadium stage as the members of Queen. Were you and at Wembley Stadium? We recreated it because it's oh. been taken down now. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. But those were, the, those were the first five days. We did Bohemian Rhapsody into Radio Gaga, Hammer to Fall. We will rock you, crazy little thing. We are the champions. In front of an audience. In front of an audience, yeah. And the members of Queen, are they there? They are there. They oh, were they there are from there. the very beginning. Well, that's yeah. terrifying. That's not yeah. a good way to start. No, it was the most terrifying thing ever. Did they never heard of easing in? No. No, it was, it's very, it was a, they were there constantly, and uh, I appreciated it. In fact, I used it to my advantage. In what way? Well, well we, had a, we had to do a, a scene where we, uh, we played, what is the song, Keep Yourself Alive? Mm -hmm. And it, there... Halfway Through Keep Yourself Alive is one of the most incredible, hard-to-replicate drum solos that Roger Taylor does. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the call sheet that day, we're only supposed to do the first verse. But because Roger Taylor and Brian May had been around a lot, I thought I'd work this in with the ADs and convince 
the young man playing Roger Taylor, Ben Hardy, that uh, he's going to have to do this. Oh, that he would have to actually play the yeah, drum solo? Yeah, crazy difficult drum solo. <laughs> so it went all the way through the chain on the radio, through the ADs, saying, uh, Roger Taylor has made a request. His only request from the film is that you complete this iconic drum solo. <laughs> And how was that received? Oh, oh, he just uh, stayed up in his trailer and wouldn't come out for a while. <laughs> yeah. He refused to come he out of the trailer? He refused to come out, and then finally, after being called on the walkie-talkie so often, he came on the set, he looked so pale, he was like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and, and after a while, I just couldn't take it. I said, Oh, you let him off yeah, the hook? I let him off the hook. I never would have let him. That's he where was, we differ. I would have crazy glued the sticks to his hand. <laughs> 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 well, that's fun. And did the band member, were they in on that, or they had no idea that no, was going on? No, they had no idea. One more. Again. Go on, roll the track. Who even is Galileo? Are we done? That's it. He loves you. There's Rami Malek in Bohemian Rhapsody playing Freddie Mercury. Do you, the moves, the, do you, who teaches you the Freddie Mercury moves? Well, that's the thing. You know, he was asked to, uh, by the Royal Ballet to join them in London in the ballet because they thought he was an exceptional dancer. And when he got to training with them, they realized he, he couldn't dance. And he'll tell you this. Really? Yeah, he just moved. Uh, it was kind of spontaneous combustion with him. What so happened I, when I didn't they get... found out he couldn't dance? They carried him across <laughs> the theater. <laughs> really? Really, they just carried it's him across. It's pretty fascinating, yeah. He just said, carry me around, and I can keep my legs real straight and Did hold my arms up. Did you meet any of his uh, family when you were shooting this? Yeah, I did. I met his sister. Oh, I met wow. his sister. She got to see me as... Young Freddie with long hair and, of course, the teeth makeup, the whole kind of 1970s, early glam rock look. And what, did, what was her reaction to that? She laughed. <laughs> what, really? <laughs> she laughed? As you can imagine, it was an incredibly kind of bizarre alien moment for her. I would have guessed that she would have may maybe burst into tears. She, she or, did later. It's my Freddie. Later on, and she, it was a very emotional moment. Now, on a serious note, she, she wrote me the... the most moving uh, email. I was very, very powerful. And like I said, I mean, to get that vote of, of appreciation from the people who were closest to him was everything. Was Mercury me. their real last name? No, no. no. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find that out in the movie. <laughs> like Linda Mercury or something. No. Yeah. Yeah. What? And oh, Mike Myers is in the movie. Mike also. Myers is in the movie. Which yeah. is really kind of cool because he's the guy who really, with Wayne's World, reintroduced that song to right. a young, new generation. That was the second time it hit the charts uh, at number one, was with Wayne's World. Who does he play in the movie? He plays Ray Foster, who is the recutive exec that basically... The what? The, the re 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 record exec. You what just invented a new I job. I did invent the record exec. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> He's the, uh, the record executive who, tell, who tells them that no one will ever bang their heads in a car to Bohemian Rhapsody. And that really happened, huh? Yeah. That's, uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. We... These record execs are idiots. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> That's why the job doesn't exist anymore, in Did fact. You... Did you and Mike commiserate about having to wear fake teeth in a movie? Because in Austin Powers, that's, uh, that was his thing. We did. They, they have kind of a similar look. And uh, I, I, you know, we talked about that. And, and I asked him, uh, I saw his kids and asked, you know, do the kids get to see Austin Powers now as well? And he said, I'm just starting to show it to my son. And I said, how is that? He goes, well, I had to work that out because he asked his mom, do, do I make you horny, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> and he says, no, you have to say, do I make you happy? Do I make you happy? If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment. <laughs>